Good morning, everybody, and this is your DAX day trade setup for today. So, just looking at the daily, uh, and uh, if you look at the last five days, two, three, four, five, pretty much a sideways day, a uh, sideways week, sorry. And uh, we did open on our low, and we kind of closed fairly close to our high. So, that is a fairly bullish bar, if you don't believe me. There it is, there. That's a piercing pattern on the weekly. Uh, with all these buyers that were scaling in over the last couple of weeks there is definitely merit for um, some upside so this triangle that we had drawn in let's just get down to our trading levels quickly uh, looking at the three hour you can see there's a triangle i just want to do that just tidy it up a little better and that one must be on the fractals you always redraw these triangles as often as as you can making sure that you've got the first two fractals in on that triangle because often uh, they kind of move depending on the trading platform you're on so, okay so sideways we're in and amongst the moving averages on the three hour most of last week was pretty much sideways no real structure there this level here is the level to pay attention to that 15626 so if I come down to the hour, you'll see um, Thursday was sort of down, up into moving averages, then we rejected. We're only getting the crossover, a bullish crossover at the moment, uh, or the golden cross as they call it, on the hour. So that's only starting to happen now. Uh, so it's been a pretty wild swing last week. And at the moment, this is kind of the view that I've got, and that is get above... I suppose on the hour it's slightly different there's two things to this so the first one is I want to be above 15.610 but ultimately I need to be above uh, 15.626 get above it come back and test it uh, and that would give me the opportunities for the long now just bear in mind with triangles we can very well break up hit the top of the of the uh, range and then turn around and come all the way back down here to the apex of the triangle so that often plays out more often than not so there's a high probability of that happening so in other words any break here you're looking for uh, the first bit of structure which would be top of range which is up here at 15.759 but then i take profit because i would expect it to come down now there is a gap up here as well so that's kind of the most logical target at the moment of any break of the structure you see here so 15.626 and 15.6, so this is called it 15.600. So we need a, a break above it, a pullback to test it, to, to validate the structure, and then you're looking for a really tight stop below whatever that validation bar is, all the way up to 15.760 area. And uh, my advice to you is actually just be a little bit conservative of it and take your profit here at 15.740. So that's kind of my view at the moment. Uh, if it does play out, you're probably looking at something like a 30 to 50 point uh, stop loss for a 107 point gain. So that's a fairly decent risk to reward. Anyway, that's kind of my view at the moment. I hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you later. Cheers for now.